like hi. Um, let's see here. Let me see if I can find it for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, drop your username into this chat box right here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they like the two, the first two letters to be capitalized. Okay. Oh, here, let, let me finish this for you here. Here's your mm -hmm. password. There you go. Oh, okay. And so this is gonna be the same login for pretty much all the stuff that, that you're gonna be signing into uh, that's gonna be for Keller Williams. Okay, cool. Now, uh, you're pretty familiar with this page, correct? Oh, yeah, but that? no, this says, um, oh, your username is not right. Let, let me enter again. Oh, um, it's, sometimes it doesn't like it when you copy and paste. Yeah, I, I, I enter it, but it didn't. Oh, weird. Here, let me see here. Your username and password you entered, it doesn't match. Um, let me see if I, if I did something here. Okay. Hmm. So the X and L are capital, capital. They, they are capital, yes. Uh, sometimes sometimes uh, it doesn't like it when they're lowercase, but sometimes it does. But I always capitalize them uh, just, just to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Hmm. Can, you, can you enter it? Because I'm trying yeah. from my eyes. They couldn't let me go through. Oh. Here, give me. What? Um, did, it let, did it let you in? No. Uh, i try again. Let's mm. see here. Um, let's see if we can, uh, if you, do you, are you in Google Chrome? Yes. Okay. Right, uh, right below the X, go ahead and click these three buttons and then click a uh, new incognito window. It could... Uh, the website may be saving your old password when mm. I just changed it, okay. so uh, it may not it may not uh, recognize this new password that you're putting in. So let's let's in this new incognito tab. Yeah. Let's go back to mykw.kw.com. Okay. Right. And see if this lets you in. Mykw.kw.com. Okay, um, one, two, three. No, this says the username and password enter, it's not match, please try again. So here, let's, tr let's try one more thing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing here. On my screen, uh, sorry, on our Google Meet screen right here, down below, uh, a white bar should pop up, and on the right-hand mm -hmm. side, go ahead and click present now and then choose your entire screen. And then uh, I have four screens, so you click the screen that, uh, that you wanna show me, and then go ahead and type in that, that login again so I can see uh, what it's saying for you. Okay, sure. Perfect. Now we've done this before. <laughs> Hey, you're a natural. So mm -hmm. even if you, if you toggle away, I'll still be able to see your screen, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's get back to that uh, MyKW and try and sign in again. Okay. MyKW login? Uh, um, let's go down. Let's type in mykw.kw.com. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And yep. Go for it. Yeah. And perfect. And then and then try that password that, that I have for you. It's all lowercase, right? Uh, the first the first one is capitalized. And you know, honestly, I may stop this, I may stop presenting just because right now we are kind of going through some passwords and stuff. 
Okay. Oh, I'm getting in. Okay. Oh, perfect. Well, actually, I don't think I don't think I said any passwords just yet. I'll go back and, and reference this uh, video before I post it anywhere. Um, but mm -hmm. but now that we're here, you can go ahead and keep presenting, and I'll just help. Stop. You. Nope. Yep. Yeah, uh, go back oh. to your KW, and and I'll just help you navigate your your KW. Okay. Okay. So, um, so everything on that top black bar right there, uh, mm -hmm. if you click anything up there, that's going to take you to my, uh, that's going to take you to kwconnect.com. So think of this website as a couple of different sites tied together. Okay. Okay. So go, uh, look at your browser right now. It says mykw.kw.com. Go ahead and click mm -hmm. any one of those buttons on the top black bar. Um, Marketing? Yeah, sure. And as you see, it it, it transfers you to kwconnect.com. And I just wanted to, to show you that just because every once in a while, it may be kind of confusing to know where you're at. Um, and here you may have to, to click the back button instead of having a button that takes you back to my KW. Okay. So let's go ahead and click that back button right there. Uh, think of KW Connect as, um, as kind of Facebook for realtors. Uh, here you'll be able to add uh, agents, find agents. There will also be lots of tools and resources, live webinars, and things like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, if we scroll all the way down below here, you'll see your, uh, your quick links. You'll see a box that says quick links on the bottom right. Yep, right there. Quick link. Uh, up a little bit more, it's going to be a big box. Your last box on the oh, bottom. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Okay. And right yeah. below quick links, you'll see mykw slash mc573 intranet. Go ahead and give that mm -hmm. a click. And you see here, it kind of does the same thing. If you look at your browser, it says kwmci back agent. But here they do mm -hmm. have, if you scroll up a little bit for me. Mm -hmm. Um, do, 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 do. I would just ignore that for a minute. I would I would wait until I, I do your setup for you. Um, okay. But, but here on your intranet, uh, this is where your calendar is going to be for your market center, okay? So uh, mm -hmm. I may need to fix this for you first, but this is where you'll see your calendar for all your market center classes. Okay. I just write it down. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. um, and this is this is being recorded too. So if you're the only one in here for this class today, I'll I'll just send you this video so you can look back and, and reference on it. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's scroll all the way up to the top. Here on KWMCI back agent, they actually give us a button to return back to my KW. So go ahead and click that up on the black bar there, uh, right hand side. Yeah. Perfect. All right, cool. Um, there's a couple other things that I want to uh, focus our attention towards. Um, it looks like you've entered your profile picture, which is awesome. If you click profile right there, it's much like uh, much like any social media or any sort of profile. Uh, this is all the information that you put on here. It's going to be easily accessible for your your uh, clients as well as other agents too. So if okay. we scroll down through here, you'll see a couple different things. And, and in the questionnaire, I try and fill in a, a, you know, some of this stuff too, but again, it looks like you did a fantastic job. Uh, one big thing you did, you did stress out, like what are some good things to, uh, to fill out uh, to, to kind of get noticed? Uh, the big things that you'll see are these big boxes right here. Uh, your, bio, your bio is gonna be a big one. Uh, specialties, okay. specialties may be a big one too. So. Um, and then again, down below here, if you have your uh, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, you can go ahead and link all those together too. Yeah, I'm still like uh, trying to organize the words and make it look like fancy <laughs> so I can put it know, in. Yeah, a, a bio for me is really hard for some reason. I'm not, not quite sure why. Um, so let's do, let's do a couple other things. Um, now, are you, are you good navigating yourself or do you want to watch me do it? I, yeah, I'd rather to watch you how to do it. Okay, yeah. sure. 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, go ahead and click that stop presenting screen right there. Okay. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and I'll present my screen. Yeah. Mm. All right. Perfect. So, uh, so again, looking much like yours, uh, this eEdge control panel will fill in right here. Uh, you'll have a, a, a drop down uh, if it doesn't populate. Um, I mean, actually, I think I think we'll be waiting for me on that part for the questionnaire for this to populate. Okay. Um, but here you'll be able to, to view contacts and, and email messages and things like that. Um, another couple of things to keep keep in mind are going to be your KWLS. This is, uh, this is, think of it like your MLS, uh, but for KW. Mm -hmm. so, so when you enter a listing into your uh, RMLS or, or your multiple listing service, uh, come over here and enter it as well. So uh, they don't really talk to each other, uh, but the KWLS is very, very important. So I click on KWLS right here. We'll just go ahead and, and create, create a listing and we'll just re-enter that info from our from our uh, MLS, okay? Mm -hmm. And what this will do is this will actually uh, shoot your listing to a number of different uh, websites. So uh, let me back out of here. And just to kind of show you where, if you enter your, your listing into KWLS, it actually goes to all of these different sites right here. Mm. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. So definitely worth, uh, definitely worth entering into the KWLS. Okay. Okay. Um, another cool thing is if I click on technology, so if I hover over technology, I get this drop down. But if I give it a click, it'll take me back to that KW Connect right there. Hmm. And here you'll have a different things. So a, any kind of education that you're looking for, we have that all right here. If I click on training, on the left-hand side, you'll see connect live schedule. And this is going to be where your KW Connect uh, live webinars are. So if you're interested in, in anything that you're looking for, uh, we'll just give this one a click. They should give you a description on the webinar as well as a live stream link. And you can even add this to your calendar too, if you'd like. Okay, very good. Very good. Now I'm sure, uh, I do believe that they share uh, the same link. So if you're looking at something, maybe say tomorrow, and you jump in, you may be looking at today's webinar that's going on live. Mm. Okay. Oops. <laughs> right, perfect. So, um, so let's jump into command, okay? So this is going to be a different different website. This is really where you're going to be working out, uh, working as an agent, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a couple little educational resources for you. Uh, did you go to kwtechhelp.com to get here today? No, I, I go I, I go straight uh, into the um, they send me a link, so I'm click the link and then I'm here in the meeting. Perfect. Uh, here's another thing that I want to give you. This is this is a website that that I've built. So this is where Jet and I live, okay. and we and this is really just a one stop shop for all of your KW resources. Okay, so instead of having to to remember everywhere that we're going to today, mm -hmm. if you just remember this um, this website, mm -hmm. it should have everything that you need. So our orientations as well as our all of our live trainings are just going to be by clicking this button right here and you'll see it'll, it'll jump us into this webinar okay. um, and then we also have one more thing i just want to touch on this resources button as you see it it kind of took us a while to navigate to our uh live webinars right mm -hmm. but what i did is i just created a page full of buttons to kind of help you uh, keep everything kind of bookmarked. So all you have to do is just remember this one page right here and say, if you want to check out the live webinars, we can just click this once and you're there. Okay. Uh, same thing, anything else? 
Yeah. So uh, hopefully this will make it a little bit easier for you. Um, we also have, uh, I created a command handbook. So uh, if you're more of a reader, we, uh, we have that for you too. So uh, I know every once in a while you can't have your computer with you always, but I create a whole, whole manual here for you. Uh, and one last thing, um, our network live schedule. So I showed you in my KW where to uh, access your market center schedule, uh, but we're actually part of a, a, a brokerage network. So we're actually made up of six market centers. So uh, I'm from the market center in Eugene and uh, Jet is from the market center in uh, the Hillsborough Beaverton area. Okay. So what we have here is we have a calendar that's open up to uh, all six market centers. So if you're looking for anything in particular, uh, we can we can swap from agenda to the month view. Go ahead and check this calendar, okay? Because because there could be things on here uh, that another market center uh, is is providing that your market center might not have quite yet. So, um, so we have tons of CE classes. Uh, we have all of our tech trainings on here. So if you want to, to go to a CE class, all you have to do is just click this link and you should jump right in. Okay. Um, I'm kind of like lost to finding oh, yeah. um, um, the calendar. You just pop on your screen. Can you show me where oh, to get it? Yeah, sure. So um, on kwtechhelp.com, this is my <laughs> site right here. It's gonna be the second one over. Network live schedule. Oh, okay. And then one one other thing, um, you know, I, I create a page just for the the new agents coming on. Uh, and that's going to be this welcome to KW button right here. So this should help you uh, be able to view your view your uh, leadership right here. So just give this a click. You can see that. This will show mm -hmm. you where you're at in the process. So, th so you know where you're at in that timeline. You can go ahead and if you need to fill out that question questionnaire, you can give that a click and it'll, it'll make you let you fill out that questionnaire. Oh, okay. And here's how you would schedule your orientations too. Okay. Wow. Great, I got it, thank you. Yeah, thank so you. hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, again, uh, I'm working on this site every single day, so so uh, so keep a lookout. There's tons of good resources in here for you. And then all of our previous recordings are here too. So so if you miss any of our live trainings, we have that have that here also. Oh, wonderful. All right, That's so let's, let's jump back to, what was that? That's a lot <laughs> to- I know. I know. I, yeah, it it is a it is a lot to take on, and and again, mm -hmm. I, I don't expect you to remember all of this stuff, but but just being able to have it on the uh, on the video recording, I think may may help quite a bit. Hey, Karen, um, we're just going to go through a couple things in in command, and then we'll circle back. Jet and I uh, already discussed your uh, your questions for today, and they seem they seem pretty pretty uh, easy, so we may be able to breeze by them. Uh, uh, before the end of the uh, end of the day, okay. Um, so really quickly, jumping back here, uh, I'm just going to go to uh, command, and command is going to be agent.kw.com. So one's going to be my kw, and this one's going to be agent.kw.com. Now, for some reason, it doesn't like um, W, the www. So if you type in www.agent.kw.com, it may say uh, this page is not, uh, you know, secure or something like that. Uh, but here in command, it's going to take that same login info for you. So are they the same username and passwords? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it. And it's going to be the same for your mobile app as well. Okay. And jumping in here, um, I'm just going to highlight a few different things for you. Okay. Okay. Um, the first and first and foremost, this is the home page, and. Think of the homepage as just little sections of your 
of your left hand icons right here. So think of these as little windows into what these what these apps can do on this side. So here you'll have tasks, which will be right here. Uh, you'll have leads, which I believe is going to be in your in your contacts, and so on. So you can go ahead and customize this. I would suggest pulling pulling your leads up to the top. So when we do start to generate like campaigns and stuff, this is going to be the first thing that you see. Uh, on your left hand side here. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to navigate if you just hover over it. So they added this uh, clickable right here. So if we give this red KW square a click, it'll open mm -hmm. up all of our left-hand icons right here. Mm -hmm. uh, one other thing to, to mention up at this top bar right here, you have command and connect. You may not have uh, command market center. That's more for leadership. Um, oh. But the connect section is much like what we saw in my KW. Uh, which is like the Facebook for realtors, uh, only they're they're transitioning it from my KW into command. So some of these things you'll see, like uh, you can you can post links, comment, like, share. Um, there's different groups that you can join, but certain things uh, is still under construction. So safe events and resources, we may not be able to add files just yet or events just yet. Uh, but that should be coming down the line to, like later this year. So really, for the most part, we just kind of focus more on command right now until the end of the year. So actually, this um, connect connect is is for the um, national wide. It's not only for Oregon realtors. It's correct. All correct. Over. Oh, yeah. But I think but I think it's only for KW. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, but there's other things too. Like if you're looking for properties, uh, mm -hmm. it goes outside of KW. Okay. Just not the connect part. Mm -hmm. um, and then following this bar across the line here, uh, I'll I'll show two more things, um, and then I think that's a pretty good, pretty good point until we get to our our next training. Okay. Okay. Um, these are the two buttons that I kind of want to focus on. So let's start with our name here first. We'll give this a click and we'll get a drop down here. Uh, to be honest, settings are probably going to be where you're going to be spending most of your time on this drop down. Wouldn't you agree, Karen? Oh, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, I hear my cats cry. <laughs> that particular drop down, I don't use it too much. I use yeah. it. Settings. I mean, you do it when you're first starting, and then it's kind of set it and forget it. Yeah, that's perfect. Wrong. <laughs> um, in, in our settings right here, um, when we when we get to this page, uh, this right hand side, this big section is going to be uh, all the apps and programs that you're already using: uh, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google Calendar, things things like that. And when you when you link them. Uh, it'll start to interact with the command system. So it'll start to generate, uh, giving you information when you sent an email to a client and so on. Uh, this left-hand side right here, the skinny little section is going to be your actual settings, what we, what we know uh, in the normal life as settings. So here, if I click on command settings, here you'll have a, a number of different sections. So if you want to work on contacts and say, if you want to wipe your entire database, we can do that here. If you want to create a number of different uh, tags, like say uh, clients that you've met versus ones that you haven't uh, and so on. And then you have your import logs too. So if you uh, are already working uh, out of like say in the Excel spreadsheet, uh, we can go ahead and drag that and drop that into here and it'll show you how many contacts imported and how many failed. Hmm. And I think that's a pretty good start for now. Um, mm -hmm. Again, I would love to dive into a, a number of these different applications, but but it's it's almost like jumping down a rabbit hole. Um, and I do kind of want to save a little bit of fun stuff for us for our uh, for our next orientation, okay? But mm -hmm. a, a, cute, a a couple uh, key things to keep in mind: uh, designs. That's going to be really fun. Okay. Uh, like consumer. Um, what was that? 
um, what kind of stuff you're designing? Like, it's like so yeah. Um, so if you ever use like Microsoft Publisher or Canva or something similar to that, uh, you have an option to create emails, uh, email campaigns, social media posts, uh, printable flyers. Uh, you can, if you really like a, a PDF or a flyer, uh, you can drag and drop it, and it'll take that that uh, that layout and give it to you, so you can re-edit. So uh, yeah, let me just jump in here. So here's what it's going to look like. Um, I can't remember what I chose. I think I did social. And here, depending on what you want to do, there's going to be a number of different things that you can choose. So I'm going to choose lead generation. And then I'm going to choose client love. And here you'll here's a, a good happy birthday design that you can edit and, and share out onto your social media. Uh, they also have different organizationals for Facebook, Instagram, because all these posts are a little bit different. So if I clicked Instagram right here, you'll have that square shape. Okay. Inside here, I will um, I'll just show you uh, how easy it is to, to create a piece of uh, marketing material. If I click on this text right here, it'll give me those dots. I can change the color out. Mm. There you go. If I have images that I'd like to add, let's see if I have any that I've preloaded. I don't have any headshots just yet, but just for the sake of time, I'll drag and drop this as a headshot. It'll actually take that and 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 present it in a, in a nice way, uh, so you don't have to. And then if you if you remove it, it'll keep that placeholder for you, so you can drag something else in. Very nice. Um, and then, then boom, you can download it or share it directly. I always like to download my marketing material. Uh, but again, you can you can do do with it what you will. Got it. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Mm, yeah, and it's already been set up for you. Just need to yeah. take time to you know get used to use it. Absolutely, and and that's a a perfect example of 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 what I meant by um just take it piece by piece, okay? Because because we've already covered so much in 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 just this small amount of time. So uh so just don't be overwhelmed. Just just maybe think about today. I just want to work on my on my uh, campaigns, right? Or today I just want to work on my contacts, and then and then day after day it'll start to get a lot easier for you. That's right. Perfect. All right, Karen, let's see here. I have your, your email up here. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and, and um, go down the list here, okay? So uh, how do I create a blog within uh, command? Yes, Michael uh, McGuire said, oh, ask uh, Morgan. Who said that? Michael McGuire. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, well, Michael, I, I hope he's doing well. Fantastic guy. I, uh, next Wednesday, he's going to have a uh, Instagram uh, class on how how to uh, how to be present on Instagram. So really, really cool. Um, so we'll go. We'll run through that. I think honestly, that's probably going to be uh, the biggest majority of the time. So let me go through your 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 next two uh, uh, questions. Okay. Oh. Um. Hey. So, so part two, um, how do I have two presenters using Google Meet? Uh, I'm doing a virtual home buyer class. So uh, what's really cool about this is uh, it's actually really easy. Um, they, they make it pretty seamless. All you have to do is hit present now in the bottom right hand side. And, uh, and it, it will allow you. So uh, as long as you're in open communication, uh, you can go ahead and test that out right now if you'd like and, and steal my screen oh oh you're on oh because you're on google duh <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay absolutely. so i go google me present now right here yep present now and then it'll just okay uh your i like your entire screen but it really depends on what you're trying to trying to show 
your entire screen really gives you more control on on closing windows and opening them up and, and all that stuff. If you want to be a little bit more private, you can use just a window or just a tab. Okay, so I share. Yep. So I oh, do your entire console. Chrome um, wants yep. to share the contents of your screen with Meet Google. Choose what you'd like to share. Oh, I guess I have to copy that. Duh. I'm old. I'm not Perfect. like young people who like to push buttons. And and Karen, what this what this shows us right now is um, is that me and you. Uh, so Jet and I we share the same email address, so we're able to hop on at any point in time. Um, so uh, anybody uh, who you're having a, a conference with should be able to take control of that screen. Uh, so you so choose. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind, though, is the person whose email address who initiated that that uh, that virtual home buyers class mm -hmm. is going to have to to jump in first. Okay. Or or, or the second trainer uh, needs to have your login info. Your email oh, okay. info. I would just jump in five minutes beforehand, just just to keep it a little bit more secure, um, and mm -hmm. then let your train let your trainer in. Okay. Now again, Jet and I, uh, since we have the same ASD email, we share that. That's what we do. So so Jet can jump on at any point in time, and so can I. Um, but again, that's a, it's a lot of trust when it comes to comes to that. But we're we're using the same email. Um, okay. Another thing that I can do as the host right here is I can stop your screen share. Oh, actually, I can't. I, I'll just screen share a second screen right here. Oh, I remember so that one time we went to infinity. Let me share right here. But what it will do is it'll take, do you see that? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So now you, now you see that there's actually a couple different things going on here. You'll see that that I have this screen on the bottom right hand side, mm -hmm. and you have a screen present too, don't you? I show it says um, stop sharing or hide. Turn on captions. Agent services division yep. is presenting. So, um, so stop your stop presenting right here. Uh, this will make you stop presenting, and I can also stop presenting as well. Oh, okay. Uh, one I'm other no thing. One other thing with the uh, with the uh, host is the host can also mute everybody. Uh, an unfortunate thing is the host cannot unmute somebody. So every once in a while, when there's lots of clatter in the background, uh, if I mute everybody, uh, unfortunately I can't unmute them when it's time to speak. So uh, so we kind of have to say, hey guys, unmute yourself and um, and go ahead and chat. Sure. So I need for this class, I need to first create the event in my Google Calendar. Yes, so I can get a link for the the um, meetup, the meet Zoom thing. It's not Zoom. I, I think as long as you have the link, you can just send the link out. So right now my link is um, I I have this forever because it's because it's paste it onto my website. So as long as you don't forget the link, I think you should be fine. Well, so I'm thinking about the um, doing this class. So first I go into my Google Calendar and I create the Google Meet event. Mm -hmm. I take a link, then I go over to Eventbrite and do that and put the link in there. And then that will make me a an event in on Facebook and all the stuff should be in there. Yes. Yeah, that's that's yep. the right order of events. Absolutely. So, uh, one thing one thing to keep in mind, yeah, you 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 hit the nail on the head there. Um, one thing to keep in mind is is Google Meet. Uh, every time you jump into a Google Meet, they try and give you a brand new link every single time. That's that's why I say just copy and paste that link somewhere if you'd like it to be recurring. So, um, so this this web conference, this chat room right here, is always open. So uh, my KW, uh, sorry, my Q I Y F R Y P. This is always available. This is one we use every single time. So how do you fix that? How do you make it? How do you make it? You know, hey, this is the one I want. Stop giving me new links. You just have to copy and paste in in your. Um, let me show you really quick. Okay. Let's 
So let me go over here to uh, to my calendar. And if I click uh, on a event right here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. test or create an event, you can add a Google Meet conferencing right here. It'll generate a random code for you like they always like to do. Uh, but if we click on this bottom arrow right here, I can edit this. And it'll edit my code. Oh. So what I'll do is I'll copy this from the conference that we're in right now. Uh -huh. Oops, put that back in here. There we go. And then I'll paste this. And then look, and then so now everybody always has this one conference room that I use. Okay, so, okay. so the next question, the next question is, uh, can I just put that link at me.google.com slash whatever in my events and people can just have that? Yeah. I don't have to email it directly to people? Absolutely, you can put it anywhere you want to, as long as you make it a clickable, otherwise they'll have to highlight and then copy and paste. Right. Hmm. That'll be fun. Um, I, I would say, though, that um, uh, for Google Meet, I'm not sure. Just make sure you're using that link period just every once in a while, because I'm not sure if they have like a timeout after like 100 days or something of, of using it. Um, but okay. so far, since, since the day the ASD uh, was created, we're using the same Google Meet link. Okay, so as long as you use it within every hundred days, then you're. It's I'm not away. sure. I just, I, I just threw out a a, a date oh. there, um, and it could it could just be no days, you know, like like right. it just, it could just run on forever. I'm just unsure. Okay. Um, all right. So does that does that help with your uh, Google Meet? Yes. All right. Perfect. So let's go on here uh, with Command Website currently. Uh, when someone logs in, do they get the IDX feed of local properties automatically, or do they have to sign in? Mm -hmm. So um, when it comes to uh, your IDX feed on your on your agent site, and and no worries, we'll we'll get to your agent site here uh, a little bit later after your orientation. Um, but Karen, um, uh, what what it does is it it pops pops open a, just a standard page. Uh, and much like, say, Google Search does, uh, they'll have to enter in either their city or their zip code first before it's centralized mm -hmm. in. Uh, but when it does that, it should pop up a, uh, a notification on your tab that says, would you like to approve uh, location, you know, or, or whatever, uh, whatever oh, okay. that is. Right, uh, location notification or something like that for your browser. And that should right. centralize and auto-populate back in. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cause I, for me, I already, you know, set my location. So I get that feed all the time. Right. So yeah. I don't know if it's a new person. Right. And that's exactly. the exciting thing about going to your site is, Oh, look at all the houses I could look at, but they have to make us do a step. It's not just, Oh, it's all here. Right. It's, it's similar to like, uh, say if you jump into co like a conferencing or something and it, and it asks to approve like your microphone and your webcam, uh, it's mm -hmm. similar to that. It's just going to ask to approve that location so it can, so it can know where you're at. So it can show you those, those properties. Okay. Um, but I, I believe once they do it once and they're on that same web browser, like Google Chrome, it should keep that for them. Right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. And step number three, how to create a blog with command. Uh, Jet, I may be calling on you for this, man, because, uh, right, assuming they don't clear their cache and cookies, yeah. right. Yeah. If you clear your cache and cookies, it may forget that that approval uh, for, uh, for location. Sure. Okay. Um, all right, I, I may lean on Jet here a little bit to help you with this, uh, how to create a blog with command. Uh, I know this is more his expertise than mine, so uh, I'll, I'll leave it in the master's hands. I got you on this one. So what, what I'm going to ask Karen real quick is, is the blog you're looking for um, the pre-generated one via HomeKeeper? So if you have that, um, like the homekeeper, you've signed up with them and you use their free blog service that they provide 
um, blog content, you can use that. Or are you using a WordPress that's your own blog and you create your own blog from scratch? Okay, I haven't done that. So I came on board last August and, you know, command was like, hey, we're doing this. And um, I want to blog. So on eEdge, you know, you that website you get, what is it, Market Leader or something? Mm -hmm. And there's a blog on there. It's like it's your blog and it it does all that SEO and you can link here and there and everywhere and have that big web circle come back. Um, that's what I'm looking for. I don't want to have some separate, I don't, I don't want to have to do the work on a separate, um, WordPress blog. And I, and I, and I, I am signed up with, uh, keeping matters current or keeping current matters. Keeping current matters. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of like it the other way, Karen. I know. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Um, does Keeping Current Matters, do you know if on your site it provides you with a widget? I don't know. Okay. Let me... Let's, I haven't let's... gone into my, um, my, what do they call it, the website now? Whatever they call it now. I haven't gone in there and tried to build something yet. Again, for a while, maybe a couple months. It's the last time I had my pity party with Morgan. <laughs> for the last thing that was like, hey, better work. Okay, so here's here's what we'll do then. Um, I'm not quite sure if Current Matters has it. So I'm going to show what it's going to look like if you're using um, the Homekeeper blog. But what's nice about what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the code that they provide you with that. And the only difference that you're going to do is you're going to substitute basically that URL, the www.homekeeper, whatever special brand, and you're going to substitute it with your own personal Keeping Matters current blog source. Hmm. So um, let me just go ahead and I'll present and show you what that's going to look like. Rolling, rolling. This is already sounding like I'm going to need uh, a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you know what? It sounds inundating right now, but to be honest, once I show it to you, it's it's seamless. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to open up just in this particular one is Homekeeper. Um, and it's with an R, not an ER, homekeeper.com. And then I'm also going to sign into my agent site right now. Go. So once we're here with Homekeeper, um, remember all of all of us who are on the call today, we all have a free Homekeeper mm -hmm. account that we get as a result of being KW agents. And that is this here so i'm going to drop that in the chat so any of you who have not registered and gotten your free homekeeper to be able to add it to your website you can do so through here directly but jumping back over here i'm going to go ahead and just sign in all right bam Now, when you get, get this set up for yourself, you're going to notice right down inside of here, they have actually, look at they've actually expanded this in the last two days. So that's good to know. Um, they've put in trackers and important links. But where you're going to put your focus on is right here for my widgets. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click that embed widgets so that we can see our section. Now, the first widget it's going to provide us with is the Trusted Pros widget. So this would be something you would use um, if you wanted, you know, people to be able to have access to local vendors that you've partnered with via your Homekeeper app. But in terms of the blog, we're just going to focus right here solely on my blog widget. And this is the one you're looking at right here, the one that's going to generate an iframe class for you. So when we're over here, go ahead. Hey, Jet, can you copy and paste that link into this uh, chat box here? Yeah, of course. Oops. Karen, we're going to, we're going to, 
uh, shortcut yeah, here for a second. Uh, when Jet copies this into the chat box here, uh, Jet, can you, uh, yep, perfect. Uh, what's highlighted right there, Karen, that link, swap that link out for your link and you should be good. Oops, let me log into mine. And it has to be, that link has to be in between those two parentheses and also include that HTTPS. Hang on, I'm going to try. So, so if you could, sorry. Ahead, sorry. If, if you could, Karen, I would almost just swap out Jet Tachif and see what your name says on your homekeeper and just swap out that name right there and that should take care of that that code for you. Okay. Let me do it right now or later because we're running out of time. No worries. I'll, I'll get through the training. So you can copy while watching me, whatever works for you. Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to create it on our agent site directly and we're going to create that page. Okay, now, let's go there. Now, I do this a little differently, and the reason why I do it uh, my way, so there's you can do it by dropping in a text box and doing it a different way. I actually like using the agent profile, and here's mm -hmm. why. Because with the agent profile, you have your photo right here, so, it's audit so if your photo's already been put in there, it's going to seem like it's your blog. And then what we'll do is we'll go inside of here and we'll configure the widgets for our agent profile. So I'll just put, you know, Jet Todd your blog. And then um, we have role and company. Um, I'm just going to put stay uh, to date and the latest real estate news. Um, then I'm actually just going to clear this out for the bio title and I'm just going to hit space bar. And then for all of this information, I'll leave these down here so that they can contact me. But where I'm focused on right now for that iframe widget is right here in the center where it says agent mm -hmm. bio. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to paste that agent bio right inside of there. Whoops. So let me first delete everything in here because I clearly did not. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And there we have it. And if I hit save and apply, Watch what happens. Hey, how'd that happen? Oh man! <laughs> right, okay. so, and that was that's and that's just simply pulling directly from this widget here. So here's that preview that's going to tell you exactly what's coming in your pre-listing checklist, the Roomba, and your smart home. Like these are already pre-done. So Homekeeper does all of these blogs for you, and because it's branded specifically to you, every one of these openings will seem as if it was done and created by you. So, and this content is every, what? We got every... We're muted, every, Karen. Every three days. So it's every two days. So it changes. So it, it's, it's consistently changing. So it has that human element to it. But again, over at the top, I'm just going to just title this RE Real Estate Blog. Whoops. HK. Now, just just to kind of give you a reference, real quick. Um, if I chose, let's say I changed it up and I wanted to use, um, let's use the trusted pros. Again, this is just an example of all I'm doing is I'm copying and pasting in between the quotation marks here. So you have source quotation marks and end of quotation marks. That's always going to be exactly the source code we're looking for or the website URL. So in this instance, if you have your Keeping Matters Current, um, the page where your blog's generated, that is exactly what you will drop right in this section here, just before with. So we see the end of Jet Tachif. Whoops. This is what happens when you have fat Chuck Berry fingers. It gets a little difficult. Okay. 
I'm just going to zoom in, save us all the trouble of seeing me fumble. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, my God. All right. Thank <laughs> you, Father, everybody. I apologize for making this, this monkey simple task look really difficult. But again, if I just paste in just in that small section, and then again, I hit save and apply, it's going to go ahead and change that out. I think it's because you, you in, in the source code, you have Homekeeper widget on the top and bottom. So I think it may your widgets may only belong to the ones that it that it comes to. Oh, I duplicated. You're right. I see what I did there. Okay. <laughs> but again, like that's all you're really going to be doing, Karen. With this, is you'll just change that out. Oops. Okay, that's what happened. You'll just change out the source code, and every time you change out that iframe, and that's what's really nice about using this iframe code. All you have to do is just change out the URL, and it'll go ahead and apply and adapt that inside. So we'll wait for this one. This one's clearly not my blog. This is my vendor program. So you can just embed those in there directly. And then once you're done with it, um, real quick, let me just go back to the blog so that I can stay consistent with what we're working with. And the same thing, so if you have, um, if any of you are using WordPress, WordPress automatically generates an iframe widget that you can apply to all of your websites. So what you would do if you were using WordPress is there's a literally a, a specific button called widgets. You click that widget button and then it'll create it for you. Then once you've gone ahead and set that up for yourself, we know that anything the eyelid is green, it means those, those are active landing pages on our agent site. Anything that's gray is not an active landing page on our site. So if I go ahead and hit um, configure site, actually I lied, I'm going to hit site and app settings, not configure site. That's going to bring us into the page where we start to apply any of the landing pages we've created. And then I'm going to go over here directly to site pages, which is right below your agent site options right up here. I'll click this guy. I'll click add a page. Um, I'm going just, just for kicks, I'm going to do the real estate blog and then I'll show you the great schools widget too. So home keeper. And we also have a question uh, on how to uh, add your own content to Homekeeper and keeping current matters. Um, how to add content to that? Now, um, real quick, let me just jump in here. I Homekeeper is a little different. So there's there's the shareable blog content that's right inside of here, where you can go ahead and choose your frequency on this. So you can do weekly, monthly, don't send, or as they're published. It's always set to as they're published. In terms of creating your own dynamic content on Homekeeper, um, Homekeeper is more about it's more about the touches and being able. So they're their own platform, right? For marketing, for vendor relations, you use Homekeeper in the same way um, that you would use like an Angie's list. You're, you're coordinating with approved vendors. You're actually approving those vendors as they're coming into the folds of your business and they become your partners in here. And when you share your Homekeeper app as a real estate agent, they get access to your blog. They get access to your vendor list that you have approved and um, have added into your list. And then, of course, you also get the option of right inside of here, these are the marketing pieces for you. It auto-brands everything inside there for you. So Homekeeper is just another tool in your tool belt. If you're actively going to use Homekeeper, then yeah, go ahead, comb through, use the app, add it as just another layer of technology and another layer of engagement with your clients. But honestly, if you're following up with your clients, if you've already created and established, 
if you've already created and established your own network, then there's really no reason for you to use this as a tool in the, in the general sense of actually having to build out each of the facets. Just use it for the pieces that you need it for. But jumping back real quick, I've, I've made my page title. I'll just call that blog two. I've named my URL slug and then my SEO descriptors. Again, um, we teach a class on this. If you'd like to know a little bit more about SEO descriptors, um, we'll cover this a little bit later. But you can easily use Spacebar if you have not set any SEOs in there for yourself. And then once you're done, just hit Save Page Changes. And then the settings were uploaded and updated successfully. Now, if I go back over to my agent site pages, that gray eyelid is now blue. And if I go over here to check my site at jetawayhomes.com, what we'll notice if I go ahead and click this down, there's my homekeeper blog. And give it a second. Once it loads, there it is. It's going to have the last iframe widget that I put in there. But if we went ahead and used my other one, let's say, where am I at? I'll show it in a second. Another one real quick that I wanted to show everybody, if you've never checked out greatschools.org, obviously our app does a great job of letting you search by schools. But for the most part, people aren't very intuitive about searching by schools. So you can go to a website called greatschools.org and you can generate a widget and an iframe in the exact same manner in which we did. All you have to do is choose your zip code to send that out to people. And I'm just gonna show you what that's gonna look like. So if I do my site pages for this particular landing page, I add another page. And as you can see, our 10 page limit is now, it looks like, I don't think there's a limit to it anymore. So I'll go here. I'll call this um, school search. And just like we did with the last one, I've got that set. I've applied my page. Now I'll save the page changes. And if I go back to my agent site pages, that gray eyelid, should now be blue. And if I go ahead and click my Jetaway Homes to view my sample page inside of here. Again, oops. Hit my school search. And there's my great schools. I can see on the map based on um, the zip code I provided them with, which was Tigard, which is where I live, which makes sense for me. And if I wanted to see the schools, here's my schools and my rankings and my student to teacher ratios in there, or I have the option of searching schools by other zip codes. So for example, 95361, let's say I'm looking to move out of state, I can still use your site as an agent and I can see what schools are around me inside of here. So just really easy navigation. And you can do this for any and all things. So um, if Morgan and I can stress anything to everybody that's on here, one of the unique features about using our landing pages and our sites is not necessarily that you have to be a, a huge coder to use it. You just have to find an amazing site with great content that you know people are going to love. And just like command, we're going to bolt on that technology to your agent site. And then through the power of the agent sites, we'll be able to redirect people. So not only will forward facing, it seem like you're providing these people with value and tremendous content, but really all you're doing is you're just changing out a URL and that's it. And of course, if you get caught on any of those, that's what Morgan and I do. Heck, Morgan built an entire site, our, our KW Tech Help site. Remember, that's all via landing pages. Like Morgan built that out with landing pages. So if you have any questions, um, any of you, don't hesitate to ask. It'll seem inundating and overwhelming at first, but once you get the ebbs and flows of everything, it's just a matter of drag, drop, switch, and rip off and repeat over and over. Yeah, take it, take everything piece by piece, you guys. Um, and and second with that, uh, with the sites. 
uh, of what it wants to look like and 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 have the layout. That that to me is probably the toughest toughest part. As as opposed to to adding anything to your site, I think that's going to be uh, pretty easy for you guys. Um, any other questions, you guys, before we wrap up? Yeah, I have a questions. Like um, yeah. there are quite a lot of information. I need to um, taking time to to go through it. I just wondering. Um, I know it's a difficult time right now, but um, is there any chance in the future we can set up like a face-to-face -face meeting? We keep some distance, wear a mask, and I think I will learn much quicker like how to do the blog. I mean the website stuff. So I don't know. Is that possible? You know, um, we're in conversation right now on what that may look like to travel between market centers. Um, as of right now, with the uh, with the COVID coming back and, and things like that. It's just kind of, it's a little difficult to say for sure when that may be. Um, mm -hmm. Will will we, we be at your market center? Absolutely. We just are not quite sure when when that is. Um, but but please know that uh, that for for how much you want us to be face to face, we'll we'll be uh, on video conference twice as much for you if if you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, so whatever we can do to kind of bridge that gap until we can see face to face, uh, please please let us know. Okay. Cool. And side note, for any of uh, my DIYers, before we go, um, by no measure do I call myself a coder <laughs> at mm -hmm. all. I'm, I have basic understandings of it. I, I know some of the ins and outs, but this is a website that Morgan and I use pretty regularly, and this <laughs> is how we are able to build out our content. So if you ever are looking for different uh, HTML inside of there, it actually shows you a test of what you're creating. Like it'll show you, hey, if you want to create something that looks like this with a grid view or um, something that has a drop down bar or maybe a image that you want to cycle through as a carousel, there are so many different avenues that this website will show you and you can actually run your test run right there next to the code that you're creating and if it works you're like fantastic then all you have to do is just copy and paste the code that you generated that's already generated as a result of the website all you're doing is filling in the blue and red boxes in there and then you just copy and paste it to your website and it's just like you've just you've saved yourself that that website developer designer that thousand twelve hundred dollars just to do simple simple code line for you um is really quick, really quick. Uh, same exact concept. Let me just uh, let me just throw this link in here. Uh, if you guys could use use this one, this one will, will really allow you to copy and paste it. The the W three schools are are a little bit more harder because uh, they're concepts, they're conceptual. So um, so you, so it's a little bit more difficult to apply that onto uh, the site. But if, if this one down below should allow you to just copy and paste or copy and paste and make small little tweaks, okay? So now you have one for, for beginner and one for advanced if you want. Beginner. <laughs> okay, yes, Karen. Question. If I create a WordPress blog, I know we can get that connected into command. That I can put that widget onto a site page for my website. And then I could put Homekeeper on my WordPress blog and Keeping Current Matters have that feed my WordPress blog. And then I can add content on my own. So I've, that'll just kind of be WordPress will be the place where everything kind of gets added. And then I can hook it into my site. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, that's easy. And that's one one thing that I. Go ahead, I sorry. I, oh, sorry, man. <laughs> it's that. It's that. It almost feels like it's long distance. You know, we're on on landlines again. Um, so, uh, so one thing to keep in mind that I've kind of found out for the sites, and I will end on this, um, is is that if whatever you can do outside of uh, command sites and landing pages, and then apply it to it. Is going to be a lot better for you. I've noticed that that I can I can build things on outside pages and then just link it into it, and it, it seems to to work a lot better or a lot easier. So if if that helps, so yeah, absolutely.
All right, you guys, you have a wonderful uh, weekend. Please let us know if we can do anything to help you out. Thank you for staying uh, 20 minutes uh, extra. Um, and again, uh, please, 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 for those of you who haven't, fill out your uh, your questionnaire, and uh, I should be able to get all, all the rest of your login information for you uh, by the end of tonight, okay? Okay. I'll do it. All right, you, you guys, so have a good one. Absolutely. We'll see Thank you next you. week. Okay.